Hey guys, so I, I've showed you before how to fill your automatic transmission oil through this hole in the filter but due to the uh, requests I will show you today this funnel which is actually official way how to, to fill your transmission so first thing I've drained already the oil We will return this plastic tube back into the transmission and we will install new filter. New filter goes inside. Don't forget to install new ring and to lubricate it. And just install back the filter cap and torque it to 20 newton meters, I think. Now we install this plastic tube back in. This is actually the, the measuring tube. You need hex 8. Screw it in until it's tight. Oh snap. Well, with, uh, with this funnel, uh, we will take advantage of the physics. This thing attaches to the transmission oil pan and this thing attaches to the bottle of the oil. And then we will raise the bottle higher than actually filler level is, so all the oil will flow in. So the principle is that whenever the, the height difference will be higher, then the oil will start flowing from the bottle into the engine. So if I raise the bottle, then the oil starts flowing, as you can see. This is the whole Bernoulli slow principle, simple as that. So guided the hose through the engine bay and it attaches nicely <coughs> to the oil pan of the transmission. So just make it snug, it's enough, so we won't drive like that or anything. The oil will actually flow in through this hose. Ah, god damn it. My dog likes to lie next to me all the time. Uh, and now we just need to attach this part to the bottle. So first, don't forget to mix this oil up because chemically this is not just one element. The heavier elements tend, no, the more dense elements flow down. So just mix this up. So the question was actually what was faster and what is then efficiently better to do either to, to fill oil from hole in the filter or to do it, to it, do it this way. Well, um, honestly, the thing is that for each, for each liter which gets into the transmission, uh, I need to open up this screw to release air pressure and then screw it back in and turn the bottle again which is kind of tedious so it's not flowing as I would expect I guess one way would be to, to make air release pressure hole in the bottle but I don't really want to do this because first of all it's hard to make hole in here then particles from this plastic could get into the transmission oil and I want this bottle because I use it for old oil to recycle it so well if I make a hole in it I couldn't do that right and just each each liter I just turn the bottle unscrew you can hear the pressure it's like sucking in the air and then uh, screw it back in and then turn it again so I'm pushing things a bit more so I'm actually squeezing this bottle so that it flows quickly so it really then goes fast once again and last liter is on the way 
a bit of info for the Audi TT. This is 2.0 liter gastronic. I need to fill in approximately 4.5 liters of oil. So we overfill it, we put in all 5 liters and then we turn on the car and run it until it reaches 40 degrees of Celsius. When it's 40 degrees, we unplug the lower part of this funnel and wait until the excess oil drips out and until it starts uh, dripping so it flows out like nicely in a steady stream and then when this stream gets like cuts it you get you get like cuts of oil dripping out then you know it's a good level of oil and uh, don't forget that the engine at this time must run and then you just close up the drain plug hopefully I will manage to record this as well so now I have removed the bottle from the hose go into the car and give ignition measure the transmission temperature I will do it with this ELM327 this works very nice Now turn on your car and run it through different gears for a couple of seconds. Don't forget to hold the brake because the car is raised up and we don't want it to move. So a couple of seconds in each gear. I'm still not fully sure if this is really necessary, but it cannot hurt. Better do it than not. So just run it through a couple of gears. The new oil will now mix with the old oil which is inside the transmission itself. And then uh, when the temperature is just right, so uh, approximately 40 degrees, go down, leave the engine running and uh, remove the plugs. and torque it to 45 newton meters now you can remove your, your hose and do a test drive and that's it uh, thanks for watching and see you next time